IBS, here's three points that can make your bowels less irritable. Point number one, you're going to find your belly button. So here's my belly button right here. Then you're gonna use three fingers. Three fingers, okay? Three fingers from your belly button. So belly button here, three fingers, belly button, and here's gonna be at one point right here. Same thing, belly button right here, three fingers. So three fingers from both sides. So these two points, you're gonna massage them, okay? Massage them in a circle for about 30 seconds, right? This is for IBS to help calm down the irritable bowel syndrome. Second point, you're gonna find your xiphoid process, your sternum, which basically means you're gonna see this bone at the end of the bone, right here, in the bone and the belly button, in between, the in the bone and belly button, right here. Third point, you're gonna massage deep in here for 30 seconds. You're gonna do this three times a day and help to calm your IBS. Follow me on Instagram. We're still gonna continue on biohacking tip number seven from the enzyme factor. So I just randomly flipped, and so you know, it's it's the uh, the tip for today. The biohacking tip today is about our food. Why is our food so different than it used to be, right? And people, you know, there's theories about our food not having you know the same nutrition in the soil and the soil, right? And so from this book, I just randomly uh, opened this. Uh, Dr. Shinwa, this gastroenterologist, he says that everything in, in the natural world is connected. Everything influences everything else while maintaining a delicate balance. So even though even those things we feel are unnecessary are actually necessary in the, in the natural world. So when we're cultivating agricultural crops, agricultural chemicals are often used to prevent damage to the crops by harmful insects. However, harmful insect is a term made up by humans. In the natural world, there is no such thing as an insect that causes harm, right? And he also says, you know, um, moreover, agricultural chemicals rob the life of living things in the soil. These living things are the source of energy for agricultural crops. Farmlands periodically sprayed with agricultural chemicals do not even have worms or good soil bacteria. Since crops cannot grow on sterile land with no living energy, chemical fertilizers have to be used. And so these crops can be grown with such chemical fertilizers, but they are deficient in flavor and nutritive value. This is why nutrients found in agricultural crops are decreasing every year. So we're killing our own food. Okay, with these agriculture, the food industry to mass produce food, uh, and now we're ge genetically modifying food. We're killing ourselves. We're killing the food, and therefore, um, and therefore, you know, we are um, eating foods that are that are not as nutritious as before. And so, how do we stop that? Well, we want you definitely want to get organic food. Doesn't mean organic's perfect, but organic is definitely better than conventional. So my family, we eat all 100% organic. And it may think that, you may think that or eating organic is actually very expensive. Um, it's actually not. I mean, if you, can, if, you, if you eat organic food, you have more nutrition. It's more nutrient dense, which means it's more filling. So you need, don't need to eat as much. When you have these agricultural chemicals, it, it's basically a sterile soil. So our food is growing in sterile soil, no bacteria, no nutrition from the soil. And so, when you eat from that, then of course you're not gonna get nutrition. You have to eat more of it, right? And that's why we have overeating, then we start getting diabetes and all these internal organ dysfunctions because our food is, it has become chemicals and not necessarily food, right? So it's important, you gotta choose organic. 
organic, you know, um, organic food is, it's probably, you know, not perfect, but at least 90% nutritious. And so if you want to improve your organ function, improve your nutrition, you gotta switch to organic. And people, like going back to people think organic is expensive. When my wife and I, when we, when we were by ourselves, we ate and we switched to organic, our uh, grocery bill actually cut in half. It decreased by 50%. Now that was because we also, because we were eating nutritious food, we wouldn't eat the junk. We wouldn't crave junk food. And so we wouldn't buy those processed food. Processed food is what costs money. So if you if you want to decrease your grocery bills, you stop eating processed food and you want to increase your organic food, which is nutrition dense food, which will be more filling, more nutritious, and it improves your, your quality of life. Um, if you do need help, um, if, if you need help figuring out what to eat, how to eat, and how how to improve your organ function, we can help you. Achieve integrative health. We're the number one acupuncture and wellness clinic in Central Texas. Uh, we can help you get your life back on track so that you can get head towards the direction of better functioning organs, which means better quality of life, or you can continue to degenerate as, as at the speed that you're degenerating. We can help you slow it down.